Welcome back to Do It Myself Garage. I've got a hot and cold water dispenser here that I want to hook up. I already have a line on the back of the fridge. Um, it's not hooked to anything. This fridge that I that I picked up um, doesn't uh, have an ice dispenser. Um, I actually kind of wanted to get one of these that had ice, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, this is just the extra uh, kitchen in my in my basement. So this will be good enough for down here. Give me fresh water when I'm when I'm downstairs. Uh, I'm gonna show how to hook this up. It'd be pretty much the same for uh, for anyone that you do. I will link, uh, leave a link in the description for this Avalon one that I picked up. Uh, but let's get to it. I've got to move the fridge out now. I've got some other stuff plugged in up here, and I'll bring you along as I go. All right. I don't know if you can see this, but I have a copper line that comes out way more than I need. <laughs> so I just got to uh, take this compression fitting apart and get my new fitting on here and then I'll have water and I should be able to crawl down in there now uh, to turn the faucet on to make sure that it works. Right. Had to run up to the local hardware store. I got this compression uh, fitting set that basically comes with a, uh, a brass insert that you're supposed to use on softer lines, but I went ahead and used it anyway because um, it was in there previously and then this little plastic uh, uh, compression washer as opposed to brass. I already have them on there so that's uh, I bought the pack I bought had two of them in there. So I've got that attached with a short piece of line got this piece here and it actually has an arrow on it for water flow and I don't know if you've ever if you've ever used one of these before this plastic line just pushes in here and when you pull on it it won't come back out there's this little this little ring on the inside if you push it in and you hold that down it pops right out okay so if you ever need to get them apart that's how they come apart pushes all the way in there and then it locks these actually have a lock for a little extra safety so that this piece doesn't actually accidentally get pushed down and then allow that to come apart. So that's kind of a nice deal. So now same thing here. That's just going to get pressed onto the back of the chiller all the way in. They drew a line on there so you knew that you were the right depth. That was actually kind of convenient. Uh, you know, someone that's not sure. These two spots on this one are for draining. All right, so this little adapter comes in your in your case, and what this is is uh, it allows you to flush out the filter. So I'm starting with the sediment filter, hooked it up to my water line, and you're supposed to flush it for two minutes. I've already been flushing for at least a minute now, but I wanted to show you what I was doing here. Um, so it would work best if you had. Uh, this somewhere near a sink. If not, you know, they make adapters for the for the faucets too. I mean, you could use any fresh water line, I suppose. This basically wants you to to uh, <laughs> ah, want you to 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 fill and flush these filters. So you gotta do the sediment one and the charcoal one. So to put this uh, on here, line up these notches so you'll be off a little bit because you gotta twist it some. Like that. It has an arrow on top, tells you which direction. Can't really see it here, but it tells you which direction to do the water flow. Shove it in there. And then there's a little valve on here. Turn this on. And it'll take it a minute to fill up. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a kind of a tinge in the sink from the charcoal. So you definitely don't want that in your water. So that's why they have you rinse them out the first time. I'm going to flush this for two minutes and then we'll come back and we'll install it back in the machine. I'll show you how it goes in there. Alright, so both the filters install with the same method. Turns clockwise. There's a little, like a little notch here. Line that up. Like I say, you have to start off to the left a little ways. Like that. And just put it in. Just give it a twist. And it went right into went right into there, no problem. Um, but yeah, you just twist it, just twists it and locks, and then it falls back into place. Now we can hook this line back up 
this cover on this Avalon sets right on there, no problem. I just press this in here, lock it, put the little lock on there, and you're good to go. And uh, let me scoot it back into place, and then we'll go through the, the startup on it and putting the drip tray on. All right, let's read the instructions and see what we got. So it says um, should have hot water in 15 to 20 minutes and cold water in about an hour. It takes a little while for the chiller to work. Uh, it does say, though, to run some water through it first before I turn those on. I didn't touch the switches. I'm assuming they shipped them in the off position. Oh, did I not turn the water on? I might not have. No, nope, the water is not on. <laughs> Let me turn that on real quick. All right, so it knew it didn't have any water, so that's why it didn't work. So press the hot, dispense, hold it. Kind of get all the lines filled up here. There we go. There's room temperature. Like I say, it's going to have a little air on the lines to start with you. I can hear it filling up. We'll give it another minute here and see if it gets the air out of there. Alright, after letting it fill up a little bit, let's see if there's Get all the air bubbles out of here. Nothing on the hot side yet. Come on. Let's try the cold side. Oh! It tried. So maybe it actually has to fill the tank. So we will let that sit for a while. But uh, that was, other than the, uh, the water line, you know, I, I me having to go get another fitting for it. Um, that's a pretty simple installation. Follow the instructions. Um, do not hook that water up first or you'll have, you give yourself a bath, but I did get them rinsed out really good. Uh, so we should be good. Well, I'll, uh, I'll come back in a little bit and let you, uh, after everything heats up, I'll let you know uh, how the hot water and how the cold water is. All right, so I, I uh, got interrupted yesterday, um, but I did turn this on. It already heated up. It's still cooling. Um, and it has an ultraviolet thing I must do to disinfect the uh, the water. So it's working. Um, seemed fairly uh, fairly straightforward to set this up. I'm sure other water dispensers would be be somewhere. Uh, probably the hardest thing is going to be getting that water hooked up in the back. Um, again, thanks for following along. I just like to show some of the stuff that I end up doing around the house. Um, maybe if you've, you're going to attempt something similar, you know, you could save having uh, to pay a plumber to come in or know that, you know, hey, I do need a plumber. So anyway, thanks again for following along. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.